Police say Santa Fe County is getting bulldozed after thieves borrowed a dangerous, expensive piece of county equipment, and the damage they left behind is going to cost taxpayers. KOAT Action 7 News reporter Lana Grimstad explains what happened along a remote county road near Pewaukee. Connecting the tire marks helps officials connect the dots. County road crews believe a couple trucks got stuck in the mud. I'm guessing that they were just kind of messing around, having fun in the river. But then the challenge, how to get them unstuck. It appears someone found the answer a few feet away where a bulldozer was sitting. It's owned by the county and crews are using it to clear debris from all the flooding. The flooding happened before. County officials say those people didn't have keys to the bulldozer, so they improvised, damaging the ignition. Stuck a screwdriver, a knife or something in the ignition switch. They got the machine to start, tied a rope to each stuck truck, and pulled them out. I'm glad that they didn't kill anybody in the process of them trying to, trying to get their vehicles out. That, that machine is... A great big heavy machine and it has a lot of power. But the driver forgot something very important. This is the ripper here. The ripper is just what it sounds like. It's used to rip up hard materials. But the thief didn't lift the ripper up, so it dragged along the ground. And so they just ripped right through the the road. Tearing up the asphalt, and now the road has to be replaced. Yeah, it all comes out of yours in our pocket. Costing thousands of tax dollars. I just hope that they don't do it again. Sheriff's deputies are now investigating. They say they don't have any suspects, but if they catch the people who did this, they could be facing criminal charges. Reporting in Santa Fe County, Alana Grimstad, KOAT Action 7 News. County road crews aren't sure exactly how much it will cost to fix the damage. We all know New Mexico is rich in arts and culture, but a new study says.